Hi everyone, how are you guys? Hope you're doing well and welcome to my channel again. Thank you for the people who have already subscribed my channel and the people who is going to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. So please just subscribe my channel without any delay and don't forget to share your views in comment box and please share my channel and videos to your friends and families and hit the notification bell for my upcoming videos and if you also hit the like button that will be very great i know i'm being greedy but please support my channel it will be very nice of you and in exchange i will upload very useful and fun videos and tutorials for you guys promise oh yeah please always look at the description box and the cards the rectangle which always shows on the top of the video and the end screen which comes uh, in the end of the video because i always update them with related and updated tutorials so now now start the topic uh, this video is about how to import or open an ai file into jsmet and what is the benefit of it if you want to convert an outline or a spline into a 3d model it can be done in 3ds max but creating an outline or spline into 3ds max is not that convenient you can but it's not that convenient and adobe illustrator is more appropriate for that or you can say the best software so that's why this tutorial is quite useful and you will also learn useful things about both software so open your illustrator and let's start If you are converting a text into 3D, uh, into 3D, you you have to convert it into outline. Uh, remember the text. But if you are going to create a shape or going to use image trace tool, uh, uh, means you going to trace an image then there is no need to convert it into uh, an outline so i'm going to start with text or font select your text click right button then choose create outline option you can also go in type menu and choose create outline option or you can use the shortcut hold shift and control then click O shift plus control plus O I have also created a video on shortcuts of 3ds max you can see a card of uh, or a rectangle box on the top of the video or a link in description box now I am going to convert this image into a shape or spline select your image then click on image trace option which you can see in this uh, panel tool panel if you don't have this option here now go to window and click on image trace option now click on preview and you can see the result click on ignore white and now you don't have the white background so you do not you don't need to delete to white background select and delete like this go to object menu select expand option click ok and ungroup it two times if you want to separate it in many parts i don't need i don't need it now 
there's so many things about image trace option tool i have already made a video on this but i will also update a updated video on this topic now select fill or stroke option in this color panel and click on none your illustrator's line is ready now save as your file choose illustrator 8 it's a very necessary step a main step so don't forget it now open 3ds max click on file menu then click on import option select your file click on open button now you have two options i will choose merge object with current scene but if you choose the option completely replace current scene you will lose your old file i will show you how the file i open right now is a sample file with the text old file now i am going to open my main file and choose completely replace current file and see i lose my current file which had the text of old file got it now you have two options single object and multiple object if you choose single object you will get your design in one spline but if you choose multiple object you will get your design in separated spline both options has different roles like if you choose single object option your text and floral design will become a one spline which i don't think you want but if you choose multiple spline option even your one alphabet like one p will be separated in two spline so we have to use this option these two so these two options intelligently i will make a, a detailed video on it now i'm going to convert it into 3d select your design go to modify list and apply extrude modify now increase and decrease the amount in this amount option to change the size of your width of your design and reduce and increase the segment of your design proper segmentation is important for 3d render so remember it if you want to cap your design then click on mesh and if you want to make the wall thick then click on fetch make your design wall thick later if you want to create a beautiful 3d design with this method so there's so many things about this tutorial so i'm going to make another tutorial on it and one more thing if you are still unable to open illustrator file um, then save your file in more lower version like illustrator 3 for now i'm going to end this tutorial here and i will keep posting the videos and the tutorials continuously so see you soon again and till then take care of yourself keep watching my channel and videos 
and just subscribe my channel right now just right now peace and bye bye